Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's pray together as we come to God's Word. Father in heaven, we love you, and we thank you for the day you've given to us. And, and Father, we pray that you'd help us today as we, uh, as we come to your Word, that you'd open our hearts and our minds, and that you'd speak to us from thy truth, and that you'd send revival to our hearts. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's open our Bibles and look at what the Word of God says. In 2 Chronicles chapter 24, we find the name uh, Jehoiada. Now, Jehoiada was a, was a godly man. He was not a king. He was a priest. And God used him. He was instrumental in, uh, in removing the kingdom from the power of Athaliah, the wicked queen of Judah, who had slain all of the, uh, all of the royal children uh, except for a young man by the name of Joash, uh, because uh, he was hidden uh, by his sister in a bedchamber, and uh, he was taken and, and hidden in the, in the temple for six years. And uh, Jehoiada was, was a godly man that, that, was, uh, uh, that brought Joash back to power. But the Bible says this, I want you to notice at the end of his life, the Bible says this in verse 16 of Second Chronicles 24, And they buried him in the city of David among the kings, because he had done good in Israel, both toward God and toward his house. Uh, we think of all that, that God had done, uh, or all that Jehoiada had done for God. And, and he, was, I mean, he was instrumental in bringing the kingdom back uh, to Joash. Yet at the end of his life, there's no mention. There is no mention of, uh, of him doing good toward the, the, the land of Israel, or the kingdom of Israel. The Bible says that, he was, that when he died, he was buried among the kings. Why? Because he had done good in Israel. Okay, he was a good man, and uh, he, he did that which was right. He benefited uh, the people of Israel by his convictions, but he had no he had no he no mention of that, which which leads us to ask, what does God prioritize, or what does God deem important? May I tell you, it's not your job. Although I believe we ought to work hard, and, and in the New Testament we find uh, many examples, uh, many commands to work hard and be upstanding citizens, and in and out of the workplace. He doesn't, it doesn't talk about some great political ally that he was to Joash, although they did work together and um, they had a great relationship. After all, Jehoiada was his uncle, or was the uncle of Joash. No, no. They buried him in the city of David among the kings because he had done good in Israel. He lived a life... He, both, and he describes how he did, both toward God and toward his house. Christians, do you want to live a life that really matters? That at the end of your life, God heaps honor and praise upon you? Now, of course, we're not in it for glory. We, are, we know that all the rewards, all the crowns that God gives, we will gladly cast back before his throne. But... The emphasis that God makes is not the emphasis that we make. He emphasized him doing good both toward God himself. He loved the Lord. He set his heart to seek the Lord, to follow God, to serve the Lord, uh, to obey his word, and toward his house, toward the temple. He repaired. God used him to repair the temple that had been destroyed by Athaliah and all, uh, and, uh, to all, the, all the valuable instruments of worship uh, were taken and given to Baal. Jehoiada repaired that breach. He, uh, he, he brought the house of God back uh, to, to, to wonderful order. The Bible says in verse 13, So the workmen wrought, and, uh, and the work was perfected by them, and they set the house of God in his state and strengthened it. You know what I want to do? You know what my life's goal is? I want, to, I want to love the Lord my God with all of my heart. And I want to serve Him uh, in, in, through the ministries of the local church 
as best I can. I May mean, I tell you those are the only things that matter. Yeah, we want to we want to take care of our family, right? But I want my family to love God and live for God. And so we're collectively going to work together and help them understand the great priority. At the end of the day, the Lord's the only one that matters. And may we give ourselves as Jehoiada did to loving God and living for him. If you want to do good in America, then love God and serve him with your life. For too long, we've sat idly by, but it's time to rededicate our hearts to the Lord. Let's do good. Let's love him. Let's live for him. Let's serve him. That's the only thing that matters. Father, we love you, and we thank you for the day you've given to us. And Father, our heart's desire is that you would help us today to love you and to live for you, as Jehoiada did. May we be uh, Christians of conviction, of compassion, of resolve and dedication. And Lord, our prayer is that our lives would truly matter in the grand scheme of eternity. So Lord, help us live as Jehoiada lived, and we give you glory for it. Bless this day. Again, Father, we ask for revival. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Lord willing, we'll see you right back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Bye-bye.